if everything is destined by Allah and if I commit any sin, then who is to blame? If I am destined to commit a murder and then I commit a murder, but naturally I will not be responsible for it. It is Allah who has destined it. Therefore, he will be responsible. Then why should I be punished for this? As far as the question of this Qadr is concerned, it's a common question asked by Muslims as well as non-Muslim about the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's difficult to understand. I'd like to give an example for people to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has il magab has knowledge of the unseen. He has knowledge of the future. I'd like to give an example that if in a classroom there is a teacher who teaches the students, after one year has passed, before the examination, the teacher predicts that this child, he will come first class first. This child, he'll get a second class. This child, see, he will fail. And once the examination takes place, and when the results are out, student A gets the first class first, student B, he gets a second class, student C, he fails. Now the question I would like to ask is that just because the teacher predicted that the student C would fail, can the student C blame the teacher saying that because the teacher predicted that I will fail, I have failed. But natural answer is no. The teacher predicted the student A will get a first class first because he knew that the student was studious and he was intelligent. Student B, he was an average student. Student C, he used to play hooky. He used to bunk school. He never used to study, never used to do the homework. So based on that, the teacher predicted that student C would fail. But student C cannot blame the teacher because the teacher predicted I will fail, therefore I failed. The student himself is responsible. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ilm gab For example, when a human being comes at a crossroad, there are five roads from which he can choose. Road one, two, three, four, five. He has the free will, he can choose any. He chooses road three. And that's already mentioned in the destiny that he will choose road three. It is not because Allah has mentioned he will choose road three that he has chosen road three. It is because he will be choosing road three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala writes in advance because he has ilm gab Like how the teacher predicts in advance. So Allah knows this person has a choice. He can choose any of the roads from the five roads available, but he chooses road three. So Allah knows in advance he will be choosing road three. Therefore, he mentions in the qadr, in the taqdeer, that he'll be choosing road three. Now, once he goes to road three, after some time, he comes on another crossroad. One, two, three. He chooses road three. Now, because he will be choosing road three, Allah knows in advance he has ilm gab So he's mentioned that after some time, he'll come at another crossroad and this particular person will choose again road three. It is not because Allah has mentioned in taqdeer that he will choose road three, that he's choosing road three. It is because he has chosen road three, Allah has written in advance. It's a bit confusing, but you realize that Allah has ilm gab Same way, a person, if he wants to earn his livelihood, he has both choices. Either he can strive hard, work hard, and do on his job and earn that money, or he can rob, or he can steal. The choice is this. This person prefers to steal. Now Allah knows in advance that at the age of 25, he has option of working hard and earning honest living, or stealing. But this person steals. So Allah knows in advance he will be stealing, Therefore, Allah has written the taqdeer, he will steal. It is not because Allah has written that he has stolen. It is because he will be stealing, Allah has written in advance. So similarly, if a person commits murder, it's his choice. He can either not commit murder or he can commit murder. Choice is his. And he commits murder. Who's to blame? He's to blame. So here we realize that Allah is ilm gab So that's the reason there's a saying in Urdu, there's a very good couplet. Balama Iqbal, which says, Khudi ko kar itna buland, ki har takdeer ke pehle, khuda apne bandhe se khud pooche batate yasa kya hai. Which means, that make yourself so great, that before Allah writes the destiny, He will ask you, that what is your wish?